Hey everyone, Michael from Beehive Mushroom Co. here. Just want to show you my steam sterilizer setup and how I prepare fruiting blocks. So this is my easy bake barrel setup. I'll link the original video down below. But it's a hot water heater wired into the bottom of a 55 gallon food grade drum. And inside I just use some bricks as a false bottom with some stainless steel fencing. And if you look down at the bottom there, there's a water heater element um, as close to the bottom as possible. I'll fill this up to about the about an inch below the top of the bricks, and that's plenty of water for a sterilizer run. So there's no active control. It's simple. The water just boils, and the water does not boil off fast enough for it to be a uh, concern to run dry. So just fill it up with water, with a hose. So to make the fruiting blocks, I actually use half, two and a half cups of soy holes, which is kind of leveled off here, which is about 500 grams, and then two and a half cups of wood pellets, hardwood pellets, which is also about 500 grams. Um, it's not perfect, but close enough. And then a heaping tablespoon of gypsum, which is about 30 grams. Shake it up just a little bit so it's more homogenous in the bag. And then pour it in. Once that's in the bag, we'll get ready with some water. So once all the dry stuff's in the bag, I fill a container up to 1.4 liters of water. That's also 1,400 grams, so 1.4 kilos of water. So that's number three on my marker here. Just doing some testing on lower water usage, but right about there, 1,400 grams. And then I just pour the water into the bag. So pour the water into the bag. Once all the water's in the bag, it'll take a couple minutes to start soaking in. Shake it up just a little bit. So once the bags have absorbed most of the water, fold them up like this, nice folds on the outside. I put the filter patch out, and then we'll put them into the sterilizer in this cross pattern. And then I alternate them going up, all the way up. And this holds 24 bags in my sterilizer. So once the sterilizer is all loaded, throw the lid on, kind of push it down. And then instead of using the retaining ring, I just throw three bricks on top. Um, I did the math on this. And even if the vent hole that I drilled were to get blocked, the max overpressure this thing could hold is like less than two tenths of a PSI. So the outside of the lid will start to come up and steam can come out. So that way it doesn't blow up. So at this point, you just plug it in. I plug it in, leave it for 24 hours. It takes about three or four hours to get the steam going. And then about 12 hours in, the substrate's getting near temperature. Um, and 24 hours total seems to be working good for me, so that's what I'm doing. I hope you uh, like the video. Follow me and check me out. Peace.